Entertainment here on your favorite news channel, Joy News on Multi TV. This is a throwback edition of your favorite entertainment show on TV, Let's Talk Entertainment. You can actually call it LTE for short. And I am your girl, Becky, bringing you all the stories that you need to hear in the world of entertainment. Stick and stay. I'll be right back. <music> Join us, you're logged on to the Joy News channel. The show is, of course, Let's Talk Entertainment. I like the way it sounds, Let's Talk Entertainment. You need to, you know, get it into your head. It's all about Let's Talk Entertainment. It's all about LTE. And so uh, today we're starting with Ohima Messi. She, you know, normally doesn't talk about issues, but this issue is so dear to her heart. She had to just, you know, add a voice to it. It's about uh, the Spintex church attack. Yes, uh, it's actually the Ohima Messi's godfather and she is not happy about this particular issue and so she is calling for God's vengeance on everybody who is responsible for that attack. You are bigger than what people think, oh my Lord. You are bigger than what people think. You are good, you are kind, you are bigger than what people think. Earlier this week, some unidentified thugs wielding guns and other offensive weapons stormed the Spintex branch of Believers Worship International Church, setting ablaze a 500 capacity auditorium. The hall drums also bent down some musical instruments and other church properties running into millions of cities. This seems to have angered the Ghanaian Gospel Queen, Ohima Mercy, who claimed the leader of the church, Reverend Abraham Lamte, as her father took to her page to remind of God's vengeance that the criminals have attacked his house and kingdom. She also lamented the recent acts of indiscipline and lawlessness that is gradually gaining ground in the Ghanaian society. Ohima Mercy added that it's even becoming more dangerous when land guards and some faceless individuals could go to the extent of burning down an entire church with total disrespect to the country's laws. Meanwhile, the head pastor of the church, Reverend Lamte, has told the media the attack on his church has links with some land disputes. He said the land on which the church is situated is a subject of litigation. He added that the same group of men three weeks ago carried out a similar attack on the compound burning down the storehouse. Messi, let's talk about this thing. I'm talking about lawyer in T. If you're a fan of KJTR versus Mokola, he was on the pulse uh, on Joy News right here with Gifty and Pia, and he has been explaining what you know the whole thing is all about. If you love KJTR versus Mokola, yeah, lawyer in team was right here inside Joy News Studios. And if you don't understand what the distance means, he has it right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. Lawyer in team, everybody. It's a character. So when you're acting, your basic uh, task as an actor is to create believable roles, right. characters, and uh, fill them and portray them. Okay. And so uh, this is the character. We, everybody knows Lion T as uh, somebody who doesn't know anything, but he believes he knows everything. Right. And so, and his R and L is, you know. Yeah. So uh, when I come to stand there and I'm acting, I know I'm acting. I know it's not me. It's, it's the character. So everything I'm doing has to complement the character that we've created for. So I see. When we were deciding for this character, I felt that we felt 
that it should be somebody who is different from the typical Ghana lawyer, the, 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 the Makola lawyers. I see. And so we needed something a bit more. So colorful costumes, shirts, and then the gloves, uh, which, uh, you know, adds something. So the, the moment you see him, you are thinking that, who is this? Which lawyer wears gloves? Gloves. You know, is he a doctor? Which kind of lawyer is that? Justin Bieber. So Inez is reportedly, you know, being fired because uh, she went through Justin Bieber's file. Well, the nurse says, no, I didn't go through the files, but, well, the company, which is the hospital, says that you went through the file and so we're firing you. Uh, it's, I mean, it's back and forth. It's been back and forth here and there. Let's get details right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. If I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. I could take you places you ain't never been before. Baby, take a chance. So you Kelly Lombardo is now suing her former employer, Northwell Health, in Long Island for wrongful termination of contract. Billboard reported that Justin Bieber visited Northwell Health in Long Island in May over fears that he had twisted a testicle while playing soccer. Kelly Lombardo's lawyer, David H. Rosenberg, told Billboard that his client was sacked over the said visit following claims that she has assessed Bieber's medical file on May 18, 2017. Kelly Lombardi denied assessing the pop star's files and said she never had contact with him during his visit to the hospital. She's filing for administrative action with the New York State Division of Human Rights alleging gender discrimination and wrongful termination of contract. Her lawyer Rosenberg told Billboard his client never assessed Mr. Bieber's medical file and was falsely accused of doing it because of her gender. He added the look forward to vigorously prosecuting the claims at the New York Division of Human Rights. Let's move away from Justin Bieber and talk about Kevin Hart's movement uh, to support the Houston flood victims. Now, he had, you know, major support from, you know, industry players. And of course, uh, we have those right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. So let's see who and who supported the good cause. Hey, what's up, big bro? Kevin Hart, I accept your challenge. We need to come together. So ain't going to get it all done for me. I'm donating 100000 so man, it's for everybody out there in Texas for the relief and everything, so I accept the challenge, man, and I, and I implore and encourage everybody else. Hey, it's for my homeboy Kevin Hart, you know I answer all call lines, baby, you know what I mean, for the Houston Harvey challenge, I dedicate... I dedicate 25K to it, man. Bless up Houston, Texas. The Cali family just donated $25,000 to Houston, Texas, sending our love and our prayers. Kevin Hart, I hear you loud and clear. I just sent $25,000. Regardless of race and politics, we all want to step up to the plate, do everything we can to help out our brothers and sisters and families in need. Kevin Hart, you issued the Hurricane Harvey Challenge. I appreciate you, brother. I just donated my $25,000 to the Red Cross. <laughs> Forever together, my love. Now, baby, you're the one I need. Your love is what. 
Thank you guys for staying tuned thank you so much nats for holding me down on the camera thank you guys you know I, I can't you know stop saying thank you because you guys have been you know very very supportive of let's talk entertainment and we truly truly appreciate it kindly please join us same time tomorrow for even more thrilling edition of let's talk entertainment my name is becky and i have been talking entertainment with you